Binton is our next student. Chrissy attends Glenwood High School in Glenwood. She's the daughter of Holly and Heath Binton. And her project is Farm Safety Kits, Take a Break to Stay Safe. project is farm safety kits take a break to stay safe. So to start my presentation, I want you to guys to imagine you're an 11 year old boy. You just started 4-H and your parents just bought you two market steers to show, to show at the fair. So you get up every morning and you go out and take care of these steers. So you do that this morning and then you go back in the house and eat your breakfast, eat your cereal, and you get ready for school. As you walk to the driveway to wait for the bus, you see that the pasture gate on the far side is open where your cows are. So, you drop all your stuff in the driveway, you run back to the farm, or to the barn, and get on the four-wheeler. Usually your parents make you wear a helmet and jeans and boots, but you're going to be late to school if you don't just go. So you jump on the four-wheeler and you take off. So you get to the end to the gate, you shut the gate, and you're like, thank goodness my cows didn't get out. Top priority. But then, over the top of the hill, you see the bus coming. So you jump back on the four-wheeler as fast as you can, faster than you drove before, and you're going back. Well, it rained last night, so it's muddy and it's wet. You hit a bump, and the next thing you know, you're laying on the ground with the four-wheeler on top of you. you know, sadly, this boy never wakes up. This happened to an actual 11-year-old boy in a town in Iowa in 2011. So, that, so as you can tell, it's kind of a serious topic, and a lot of farmers die. So 374 farmers die every year in a farm-related accident. 113 are youth under the age of 20. So that's a lot of youth who haven't even reached age 20. So this project is important to me because my family farms. It's a, we're a big farm, farming family and almost everyone in the family farms. So just as Pre President Herbert Hoover was passionate about hunger relief and other humanitarian efforts, I believe too that I can make a difference in helping keep my family, community, and the rest of the Southwest Iowa area safe and from preventable farm safety accidents. So the main goals for this year's kits was to add fire extinguishers, create a Facebook page, uh, create the starter kits for other counties to start this project, and the mini kits. So what this project is, is it's a project to tell farmers to be safe and to know how to be safe. The other big thing in my project is getting the youth out in the community and talking to the farmers. And then this also, getting the youth out there, prepares them for when they're the next generation of farmers. That they're already prepared and safe to be safe farmers. I started this project with my 4-H club, the Loyal Lassies and Aaron Shade Shooters. And they already had a farm safety day, but I wanted to make it something else. So they, all they did was hand out snacks and drinks to local farmers that they knew or that they seen harvesting that day. And I involved it to include kits, brochures, along with the snacks and drinks that they already had. So here are the kits that I've done for all four years. For the first one, we did in 2012. The theme for that kit was just to stay safe. Wear gloves and safety masks and safety glasses. And we handed out 30 kits, which I thought was a good number and, you know, it was good. It was a very small kit. And they just had journal items in it along with the brochure. And I had about a fourth of the club help me deliver these kits. So it wasn't a lot of my club because my club is a very big club, so it was just a couple people and then we moved to 2013, which would be my second kit. So the second year's kit was to know your address, know the 911 address, so that when farmers are out farming and they get an accident, they don't just call it the Mackey Farm. They call it the actual address when they call 911. And we did 30 kits, but this year the kits were very large and it had lots of things in it. We also had Bungie, which is a big corporation in southwest Iowa, especially in Mills County, donate a lot of, over half the stuff that's in here was donated by Bungie. And we had about half the members help deliver these kits. They kind of heard from other people first year, and they're like, oh yeah, we want to help do this the second year. Well, the third kit was in 2013, and that year's theme was stay hydrated. So drink lots of water, stay out of the sun, that kind of stuff. We had 40 kits. The kits got a little shorter, but they got wider. We also had Bungie with bags. They actually donated bags with tons of stuff in it. And I had over half of my club members help me that year. And a lot of them helped me make the kits. And the fourth, fourth year, which would be this year, 
was 2015, and the theme was take a break to stay safe. So taking breaks, you know, five minute breaks every hour or two hours can help to keep you so that you're not going late and falling asleep while you're trying to harvest. And we had 50 kits that we delivered this year. And we also had Bungie who donated yet again another goodie bag for all the farmers. And this year we added fire extinguishers. And I had almost all my club members help me deliver these kits. So that was very good. So coming back to my slide, well, I'll start with the first thing, which would have been the fire extinguishers. So why I bought them? My project was kind of that where it was just kind of repeating. And I needed something that was going to put this project over the cliff that we were at. And I wanted something that was going to be useful and that farmers were really going to need and enjoy. So I bought fire extinguishers. And with this, it came to a new point in my project where it was another good uh, topic for the farmers to know, is that you have to replace fire extinguishers after so many years. A lot of farmers just, when they buy the combine, it comes with one, and that's all it is. It stays in there until they retire the combine. And so it reminds them that they need to be replaced. And that giving them the first one can mean that they go buy more to replace them, all of their tractors and combines. I was lucky to have one sponsor the Bowen Lions Club, who helped me purchase all the fire extinguishers for all the kids. So I was very lucky to have received the monetary donation and their support to go buy all the fire extinguishers. So when we drove up to the farm, we caught the, com the person combine came over and they got out. We pulled out the safety kit and we pulled out the bag of goodies and the drinks. And they're already excited because we're already there. But when we pull out the fire extinguishers, their eyes just light up. They know because this is something that, you know, sometimes hard to buy because they're so expensive and to buy them for all of them it could take a lot of money and so knowing that they were excited that they were getting one was great so one group or family that really stuck in my mind was Joel and Richard Crouch this is a father-son operation um, and they had just finished combining that day when we stopped to see them and when Joel seen the fire extinguisher, he just blurred out, now that is something we really need. So he went on to ask his dad how old theirs was in their combine. And his dad stood there and kind of scratched his head. He didn't really know an answer. So he's like, well, I think it's about six or seven years old. Well, Joel goes on to explain that they need to replace it, like all the time. So that really shows to me that this is something that they were going to use and something that they really needed. And again, it reminds them that this is something that has to be replaced. So the next thing was the Facebook page. So I created a Facebook page so that other people from not in Iowa or even Southwest Iowa could join in with the Facebook page. So the foundation is set for the Facebook page. I've made some posts. I've got tons of followers already. And <coughs> it's, ready, it's ready to grow with the project. So as the project grows, the Facebook page is going to grow because this is where most of the stuff for the project is going to happen. So it's going to be used for getting kits to other clubs and counties so that they can start their own tradition. It also is going to help communicate to others how farm safety is important. So even though they not, might not be interested in starting a farm safety program in their community, they can still know about farm safety and communicate just farm safety in general. So during harvest, I will send out daily reminders to farmers or people on my Facebook page to say farm safe and to respect the farmers and for the farmers to know that they need to be safe every day. And then when farm harvest is over, I will still post weekly um, quotes throughout the year to remind people to still be farm safe when it comes to harvest season. The next goal was the starter kits. So as the Facebook page said, the starter kits will be available for anyone who contacts me on the Facebook page. They will be sent starter kit They'll have an outline and a guideline with a timeline to make the kids, deliver the kids, uh, and just have fun with the kids, with their, wh whoever they're going to start the project with. And the message with the kit also goes out. So now they can choose what theme they want to do and what they want to focus on that year. It also helps to spread the farm safety to places that I cannot reach. So like if someone in California is interested in it, I can't drive out there and tell them so they can see everything on the Facebook page and get a starter kit. And it's an easy way to spread it with, out of Mills County, which I really enjoy. 
So the next main topic is the mini kits. So I focused on first graders. They have an annual first grade day at my aunt and uncle's farm. So it was a perfect place to go to talk to these first graders. So I talked with the kids with my local youth coordinator from the Iowa Central office, Sherry Ford. So we talked to the kids on the different safety hazards that go on on the farm. Uh, like in the picture, there's a board on the ground that has different things that they have to choose what to do. So what are mini kits? Mini kits are, they have a note card, a crayon, a cotton ball, and a band-aid, because every kid needs a band-aid. And I also stress to them that the note card, they can write their parents' phone numbers and their address on it, so that if they are ever needed, they have it. So I handed out 120, 120 mini kits after the students visited my aunt and uncle's farm. So there's some more pictures of me talking to them with the board. For my succession plan, I have three siblings that have volunteered out of my 4-H club to take over this project when I leave. And I've been meeting with them and giving them like my things that I've learned and things that they need to know. And they will also be receiving kind of like a starter kit, but it has a lot more detail in it from the way that we've been uh, doing our project through, through our 4-H club. And I'm very confident that these, the three siblings that I've chosen will take over. So in the end, I've created a project that has evolved into a day-changing gift for many farmers. By creating a Facebook page for the safety kits, it will help spread the idea to other places in Iowa and the country. This also gets starter kits to anyone who wants them. I've learned a lot of different things, including leadership, communication, stepping up and being a go-getter like Herbert Hoover, and enjoying what I do. Seeing the farmers light up helps me light up. So, to end my presentation, I'm going to read a quote to you by the great Herbert Hoover during his Uncommon Man remarks to Wilmington College. Let us remember that the great human advances have not been brought by mediocre men and women. They were brought by distinctly uncommon men and women with vital speaks of leadership. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, are there any questions? Are there any questions? So you've, okay. had, you've handed out about 150 kits now. Yes. So, show my ignorance, how many farmers are in your area? How, I mean, are you ever going to reach a limit? Are you going to keep going out? Or? I believe that this project will keep going out because every year we do it, we contact new sponsors, and then those sponsors tell the other businesses, and everyone just like, come to me, I want to donate, I want to help with this project. So as our project's over there, they kind of started at 30, and they've been going up by 10s. And I believe that will keep happening as the project continues. Do farmers need new kits every couple of years? or? Um, yes. I've actually, the farmers that we go to yearly say that they could go and pull the empty box out of behind their farm truck or from their truck. And so they're like, every year we need a new one. And something else that they t uh, told me that sometimes they don't need a new box, they just need the stuff to go in it. So that's something that we could start doing is just putting bags together of the stuff to where they can put it in the boxes and then give the boxes to the new farmers. And I, I wasn't paying close enough attention. The, the mini boxes that go to the kids, are they necessarily from farmer families or are they from in town too? They're from the local kids that go to school. So ne not necessarily all of them are farm kids, um, not even half. Maybe a fourth of them come from a farming family. So a lot of them don't know a lot about it. So that's why they kind of do the farm safety at the, when they come to visit the farm. So not all of them are from farm. Thank you very much for this awareness. Mm -hmm. um, question, do they have tractor uh, driving safety school anymore? I had to take it. I My dad made me. I don't know, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be really good for you to make this presentation to the group because uh, there was a whole curriculum. We had to attend three or four Saturdays, and there's probably some other people that their dads made it take them too, but um, that we had to go three and four Saturdays, and we had to pass a written test, as well as, as uh, driving for uh, backing up four-wheeled wagons, the whole shebang, before before we could pass that mm -hmm. that class. So that might be, uh, uh, I think, a, a good thing to look into. Um, and thank you very much for uh, showing farmers that we need fire extinguishers. Yes, it's a big thing. It now. is huge. Yeah, it's absolutely huge. Um, and then with this, uh, do you see that 
Uh, once you drop off a kit, do you see any farmers kind of, any of us kind of, oh, the lights come on, that I need to be paying more attention? I've actually seen that. Some farmers, we get out and they're like, think that we're just delivering snacks to them. But once we start talking about farm safety, they're like, yeah, I probably should start doing this. So yeah, I think it does actually help them realize that they need to start with farm safety. So. Can you tell us any stories of where this has helped a farmer? Um, I haven't really had anyone t come back and tell me. I have heard a lot of where they've sliced their finger open and they use the super glue in there to just seal it shut and yeah. put a bandit over it and they go on with their day. Um, that's about the only thing. I know that it's helped a lot of different farmers, um, but I know for firsthand that that's happened a lot with the finger incidents. <laughs> you said when you um, worked with the really young children that you had this board or something yes. that you were, what, what is that? What so do you have on that? That is something that goes around from the different extension offices in southwest okay. Iowa. And it's a board that after we get done telling them about the different safety things, it sits on the ground and they have to point out the different safety hazards that are going on. It's so like one is there's a guy standing in a tractor bucket that's like trying to fix something on the barn. And we tell them that that's not good because the hydraulics should fail. And there's kids standing in back of trucks and playing where the tractors are. So it's just a board that they have to visualize and tell us where the hazards are. Sounds good. Yeah. Any other questions? Another one. Question. Could you just briefly go over what, is it just the fire extinguisher that makes your 2015 kit different from 2014? Or are there other things in it that you decided um, to add? The stuff that are in the kits between the 2014 and 2015 kits are very, very similar. Um, Bungie added some different things in, but the fire extinguishers are definitely the thing that really makes the 15 kits better, I guess. Anything else? If not, thank you very much for your yeah. presentation.